Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I'm feeling okay, uh, but I'm not going to push it. I'm going to keep this video brief. Um, just had to update my schedule. So I was sick all of these days. Uh, well, this day, I think I'll be able to get some work done today. Um, I actually had to get someone to, uh, I didn't know this existed until my friend told me about it. You can actually have people give you like IVs at home for all types of things so <clears throat> I got like a trans not a transfusion an IV yesterday so uh, that helped a lot so I'm able to do like little activities uh, here and there uh, I'm still working my way through this uh, this run right here but uh, there was some news that came out in the last 24 hours and I want to know which uh, impresses you less <laughs> Because Dan Buckley was saying we need the Wednesday Warriors back in comics. And they just serve us more just fucking swill. So uh, I skimmed this and I had it ready. And I was like, oh yeah, I need to get the, uh, the Saladin Ahmed. You know, because the news came out yesterday. Except for, oh my gosh, this is so sad. So this is a... <clears throat> This is a website that's been around for like 15 years, going out of business because they can't afford the hosting fees. Hosting <coughs> fees. Um, because so few people read comic book news anymore because just nobody cares. They did an article on this a day ago. Cosmic book news 17 hours ago. The fundamentals two hours ago. Comicbook.com. <laughs> covers it an hour later or an hour ago <clears throat> can <laughs> do you realize how unimpressive an announcement is when it gets released and comicbook.com is like eh, we'll talk about it tomorrow just just nobody really cares so uh it's Saladin Ahmed uh, and not Greg Capullo from the ashes a new beginning beginning what what he put Saladin Ahmed completely mediocre writer who uh, <coughs> is uh, gets like the most work assignments he gets more work assignments than Stephanie Phillips what are his advantages well he's Diverse, he's Muslim, and um, he was kind of like a thing like five to ten years ago on Twitter. Remember Twitter? People cared about Twitter, so he was like the guy who would just say like politically incendiary things. And you got the relaunch of the entire X Men line, and all of the announcements. <clears throat> should be accompanied by sad kazoo music like okay hey Saladin Nachman you know the guy who's done like three comics a week for the last four years he's writing Wolverine now about Wolverine's uh, something yeah nothing no nobody cares Leia Williams I thought she basically got dropped by the like they keep bringing back these women that like everyone got sick of like they're like let's just bring back Marguerite Bennett it's like no we got rid of her let's just bring her let's just bring her back let's just bring her back like 10 years later and so Harley Quinn Poison Ivy and Catwoman's team up book returns this August from DC Leo Williams takes the Gotham City Sirens on a rollicking cowboy adventure. So I, I don't. There's this, there's this weird fake persona that you are handed, or you have to take upon yourself if you want to write mainstream comics, where of course you're gay. You're you're somehow gay, and it looks like. Heather Antos is going to uh, is prepping the field for announcing that she's gay uh, this year during Pride Month. But um, you got to be gay 
you gotta be besties and you like all the girl characters because you don't know them but you like them because they're girls and all the female characters are frenzies and uh so they're gonna get on a on a fun cowboy adventure isn't that silly that's silly right it's fun it's fun the gals are out on the town this definitely isn't every single female comic story of the last 10 years done again written by Leo Williams self-proclaimed bimbo and the entire story is gonna be like oh my god Harley you got a fat ass oh yeah Selena well your big tits keep knocking over my beer oh my gosh hottie alert like it's literally the insipid fucking bullshit Okay, so uh, that, 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 that's, that's my entire point. We need Wednesday Warriors. Oh, who are we going to hire? I don't know. Fuck. I don't fucking know. Just any. Just, just. We need a uh, Wednesday. Uh, anybody on anything doing anything? Fuck it. <laughs> I can't. It literally is like, if you ever read like the coverage of any. Any army that's just completely fucking lost, you know, and just like the last few days before their leader is captured, just nobody gives a fuck. Just everyone just does whatever. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if all the gals were friends and they had silly, dorky, doofus men? Oh my god, men, am I right? Yeah, okay, it's great. Great job, Leia. It's amazing. You've contributed so much. So, hey, you want to see a funny joke? It's 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 a food joke. Guess what? Catwoman drinks milk. Cause she's a cat. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. Keep up the good work. That's all I can say. Why am I more effective as a publisher? Well. <laughs> I literally have to get IVs so I have enough energy to take a shower and I'm probably going to produce better books and make progress than these people who have worked in the mainstream for some of them decades because you know I, I don't know if you know this there's bosses at DC yeah it's not just random lesbians wandering around in the field that's what happens in the story but at the company, there's Marie Javins, who's been in comics for like since I was in high school and I'm old. And Jim Lee, same thing. Yeah, they've got all these bosses, but they're just like, oh, who's a writer that nobody gives a fuck about? Leo Williams. What's the stupidest thing she could write? I don't know, like a cowboy adventure? What's a funny joke about Catwoman? She drinks milk because she's a cat. You know that phrase that extraordinary extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence? When Leia Williams described herself as a bimbo, I said, I believe you. I believe you. And, uh, wow. Saladin Ahmed. That's news so... That is news so exciting that the news sites will get to it eventually comic book com whatever you know what I meant comicbook.com eh, that seems more like a Thursday story to me than a Wednesday story but uh yeah uh what is that phrase whatever dot 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 nothing matters <laughs> so we've got the uh the, the, the masters of mediocrity versus the Wednesday Warriors. Well, you know, it's, it's, here's technically, it's the masters of mediocrity are going to win because it's going to be a forfeit. Because guess what? The Wednesday Warriors just aren't going to show up. Yeah, nobody buys Saladin Ahmed books. Nobody gives a fuck about him. You announce him, this is an A list character. Yeah, Wolverine is A-list character. He gets 
his book as a freaking new writer. And when they're like, Saladin Ahmed, eh, that seems like tomorrow news to me. No, 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 no. We're allowed to talk about it today. Multiversity talk about it. Well, yeah, they're closing tomorrow. They have to print it today. But Oh, boy. So which one impresses you less? Saladin Ahmed on Wolverine or Leia the Bimbo Williams? God, that dialogue where I said, like, oh, my God, your butt is so... Like, that's, that's, actual, that's like the actual dialogue in her book. Oh my god, well your titties keep knocking over my milk. How ironic. Because tits have milk in them. Get it? Get it! <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Fine. Good job. Hey, uh, you did good. You, you're, you're, you have a real career, Leia. You're definitely not a brain-dead diversity hire producing shit that nobody reads. No, you, you are a you are a credit to your industry and just 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 give you an Eisner. Just for being you. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> Is this funny? Ha 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 Of course the black guy has to have his hips cocked like a woman. Like, okay. Of course. Of course of course. Oh, she's a bunny rabbit and they're chasing her. It's kind of like a cowboy thing. You know, uh, Leia's like, I'm going to put the word varmint in there and it's going to fucking crush. That's hilarious. Varmint? That is so funny. Girl, you're so funny. Oh my God, girl. Your tits just knocked over my bear. Oh my god, I don't even need to curse. Just No, it's great. Yeah, you know, the Wednesday Warriors, they're gonna love the, these covers. They're gonna love everything treated like a joke. They're gonna love, they're gonna love ya. It's gonna be a huge hit. I'm talking five, six thousand orders. Amazing. You guys are doing great. Hey, those Netflix, those Netflix deals, they're gonna arrive any, any minute now. Just wait. Just, just you wait, Leia. They're almost here. You're such a good... Man, this was such a great idea to just shovel in a bunch of fucking diversity hires. It's led to so much abundance in the industry. Hey, um, what if, what if um, she's like, oh my gosh, your, your butt just touched me. And she's like, oh my gosh, this... This freaking buffalo, he has a butt. I mean, you can, you can have this. I, I didn't copyright this, Leia. You can have this. This shit is fucking gold. And then she can say like, oh my gosh. The, the buffalo pooped. I mean, it basically writes itself. But, but Leia, you can have all this stuff. So anyway. Um, ah, seems like I got all my coughs out. Huh? Uh... I'm gonna go get to work. Uh, totally depleted, and yet somehow stronger and more vibrant than everyone in the mainstream comic book industry put together. Anyway, thanks for watching.